Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlore's adventure in Project Zomboid. So, what is Project Zomboid? Well, as of this recording, which is June fourteenth, the twenty fifteen, I think we're using version point three one. If you can look at the bottom right hand corner there, that's where they'll tell you. And so, basically, what Project Zomboid is is a zombie survival RPG. So which means there's lots of zombies in there, it's a sandbox survival, there's some multiplayer capability, you can explore a couple large maps that they have included, as well if you can develop your skills, which is the RPG element, you can fend off depression, your boredom, addictions, you can do crafting in the game, you can build your base, there's a lot of cool things that you can actually do with all this stuff. And so yeah, so I think we're just going to jump right into it, and we're going to go from there. And then as we play, I'll explain why I chose to play this game, and how I'm going to play it, blah blah blah, and all that other fun stuff. So let's go beginner. This is just one I was doing, I was going to do for YouTube, but it didn't work out. You know, the game crashed, so let's pick you know, a mall draw. And... Ooh, Martin Porter. Let's go random again. Let's just do a few randoms. Walter Bell. No. Justin Wilson. Eric Bennett. There we go. Eric Bennett. Mr. Eric Bennett. It'll be a white guy. Uh, let's do no chest hair, stubble. That means like a beard. Hair type. Yeah, Picard would be okay. Let's do brown. Okay, okay, and uh, beard type, no mustache, hey, yeah, yeah, that'll be good enough. So we're Mr. Eric Bennett, and let's see what's going to go on. So as you can tell, this is the, the kind of like the RPG element, there's different, oh, I see, so there's different bonuses here, so for example, fire officer gets a plus one to fitness, sprinting and strength. See, so police officer has better aiming, is more nimble, and is better at reloading. Park ranger is good for carpentry, foraging, and trapping. So that's kind of useful. So I guess if you wanted to you know, use this, yeah, it's interesting. So all the different bonuses and stuff like that. I guess if you wanted to specialize in, in one of these, you could. But I think we're just going to pick the fire officer because it just seems to be the rounded thing. And I'm not going to do anything else with this. I'm not going to worry about these little traits and stuff. So these ones give you more points to work with while these give you less. As well, they affect your gameplay. So for example, this one, smaller perception rate, a smaller hearing range. So that's very bad, but it gives you a 12 bonus, which means that you could probably get... I wonder if you could get something like this stuff, like eagle-eyed and cat's eyes and all that stuff to counteract you being deaf. <clears throat> so, yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to see. Pacifist, less effective with weapons. Why? I don't know. Uh, slow reader, takes longer to read books. This might be okay. This would be a good perk to, a good trait to add because it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see here. Slow loader. So if we have two points, what can we use with two points? You could outsport or outdoorsman, not affected by harsh weather. Or wakeful, needs less sleep. Resilient. Let's do outdoorsman. So we'll read books slow, but then we'll we're not affected by harsh conditions, so that sounds like a good survival thing. Let's go play. Of course, this is the story. Yeah, these are the end times. <clears throat> Obviously, it's going to be as it's loading, so it's going to be pretty slow, I think. There was no hope of survival. Yeah. I don't know if I like this fact, and I know you can click past it, but I think it's the first time, so it's it's generating the map, it's by generating the zombies. This is how you died. 
I'm only going to show this once, but this it pops up every time you load the game. Uh, I've done some testing with Project Zomboid, and yeah, this comes up every time. And I'm just trying to fill in this gap here until it's time to play. I'm not sure how long this will go for. We're going to probably do the day cycle. So when I go to sleep is when I'll cut the video. And yeah, and we'll go from there. Okay, and I guess this is the the start guide here. Um, so basically we can kind of read about what the controls are. Let's pause the game world. We can read about what the controls are all in here, right? Just context key, the left mouse button, right mouse button. So let's just kind of look through all of this and go from there. So WASD is the controls. If you hold the, the left shift down, then <clears throat> you'll kind of sprint. Combat is kind of interesting. I guess if you hold right click, you're aiming. The left click will kind of release the, the attack. Um, so same kind of idea. Left control, I guess, is the same thing as the right mouse button. Um, I guess mouse click, so interacting, you can interact with objects. Uh, with left mouse button, this will, for example, open doors or fling open cupboards so you'd like to loot. Context key, another way to interact is by pressing E. This will how you open doors and windows while you're in attack stance. This allow for opening doors while in combat stance, for example. Holding E will also let you interact in a secondary manner, generally in times of, of desperation. If you want to climb through a window while the Zeds are following, for example, then E is your friend. <coughs> Context menu. More detailed interactions such as crafting can be accessed with a context menu that's triggered with right mouse button. So that's pretty cool. So we can do all that stuff. Let's go next one. Uh, don't run. Zombie senses. The dead in survival will respond to sight and sound. Running generates sound and makes you more noticeable. You can outrun the dead heads but not forever. A wise survivor befriends left control or left mouse button if they're buttered that way. This enables sneak strafe mode. Slow sneaking makes you harder to spot and reduces the pitter patter of your doom. I think it's supposed to be right mouse button <coughs> of your doom feed. It also let you turn on your heel uh, that much easier to make sure nothing's about to take a chunk from your neck. Project Zombo is not a popularity contest. Keep the shadows. Zombies only want to eat you. They, they do not hug. <laughs> And let's see, let's go to the next page. Precision people. <clears throat> you are fighting the undead. To puncture skull requires effort. Remember, charge and swing. Combat mechanics. So yeah, so I guess there's a precision system. So based on what kind of weapon you have determines and how you have to attack them. I'm just gonna take a swig of my drink here. Weapons like knives and other stabby weapons benefit greatly from thrusts at close range. <clears throat> Ground attacks, so you can kind of beat them up to kill them. Let's zoom in here a bit. That's okay. A water way to go. So basically, you need water to survive. We can fill them up until the water stops, and then I guess there's another way of getting water, hopefully. Crafty so and so. Zombies clot doors and windows, if in doubt, barricade. So I guess you craft stuff with your, your in your inventory. So everything has to be unpacked, can't be in bags. And you can barricade stuff, which is cool. You can do carpentry if you have a hammer. Uh, you can rotate items if you're building, that's pretty cool. We'll have to look at that eventually. Avoid peeping toms. They may be dead, but they can still see through windows. So yeah, so I guess there's curtains for whatever reason. I guess if they see you through the blinds, they'll come in after you. And then there's food poisoning. So obviously we'll have to, you know, there's cooking you can do. Or you, uh, or you can make prepared meals. That's kind of interesting to turn appliances on as long as there's power. There's foraging. <coughs> Find berries on their fruits out in the wilderness. So that's cool. We'll have to check that out. I'll have to watch for that. That's interesting. 
Loot Astute. Managing your inventory quickly and efficiently saves you time and often your life. So basically... Okay, I see. Holding left shift will allow you to select multiple items, or why not go crazy, drag a square over multiple items with your mouse. That's kind of cool. Um, or why not double click something in the loot inventory for a quick grab, or, or slam on quick context button on the right of your selection. That's kind of cool. Oh, and, and there's loot all. If you're so excited that you have to grab everything, the glory of bags. Bags are important. Primary, secondary hand if it's a rucksack on your back. You'll then see the equip bag in your inventory. Okay, so yeah, so there you go. So there's your quick little tour. Now let's get started with the game. Okay, so this starter house stinks. Uh, it's kind of looking around. Okay, gonna have to see what's in here. Nothing good. Oh what? Oh. There's a lighter here. Let's grab the lighter. Uh, I don't know if I need the tent peg. The canned soup. I don't know about the cooking pot. Or the roasting plant. So we'll just grab those things. Uh, yeah, we can always find the cooking pot. So it's not a big deal. So that's the box. That. There's nothing in the microwave. Oh, what's this? This is the fridge. So maybe what we can do... Since we're going th this way, I think we're just passing through this house, so I'm gonna grab what I can. Tea bag. I wonder if that's even used for anything. Not sure. How heavy is a tea bag? Point one. Sure. Uh, let's grab the bowl. I don't know about the bleach. I guess if you want to kill yourself, that's what that does. <laughs> tea bag let's grab it okay perfect and let's see here okay let's drink okay and then let's do we oh yeah we probably have to unpack these bowls uh, let's see here if we do that and then we right click, we fill bowl, so that way we got water. Okay, perfect. Um, do we not have any weapons with us? Yes, we do. Baseball bat, let's put that, unpack that. Because we're going to be using that. Let's go equip both hands. Okay, and anything in here? No, okay. Oh, carpentry for beginners, that's awesome. We need that. And I think we need the sheets, that's how we cover up stuff. Sweet. Oh, what's that? Books, okay. No, oh, okay, so that is it. Let us get out of this house. I didn't really look around. But it looks like we're in a bunch of small houses here. Um, shoot. Okay, well, let's go up this way then. Let's see if we can find a bigger house that we can go into. Okay, let's check this one out. No alarms. Okay, I'm just pushing and holding E to get in. Okay, let's just do quick check here if the oh I hate doing this okay I don't see anybody in here oh it's this whole bunch of food here let's put it in there while we can okay and it's this this goes into this oh this is kind of a neat room to stay in it's a neat bed Got another sheet here. Okay. Um, can carrots, matches, garbage bag. We'll need those. Let's grab this stuff. Okay. Uh, but there's no food. Can opener we'll need. So. 
All this stuff we'll need. Oh, trowel. I wonder what that's for. Bet you that's for gardening. Okay, anything in the oven? No, okay. Um, got more chips that we can probably grab. Anything in here? Magazine? I think what magazine does is it does it handles it deals with your sanity I think. Oh, there's a sh some sheets here. Do that. Okay. So I think that is this house. Let's see here. Okay, so I guess we could sleep in this house if we had to. But and we're almost full, so let's see what we've got going on here. There's some zombies there. But that has a barbecue, so maybe we will take that place over. Let's just do it. I don't know how far I can go in this game, so let's see here. Uh, right click and bang. Okay. Perfect. No, nothing in there. Let's see here. Bang. Okay, toast. Let's take out this guy too. Okay, perfect. No, he doesn't have anything on him. Back here. Okay, there's a zombie there. Okay, no alarm, good. Let's hop in. Close that. Maybe we will camp here. Let's close curtains, okay. Let's add a sheet to this one. Let's close curtains here. Okay, let's do a sweep. Beach towel, bleach, sleeping tablets. There's a sheet in here. That's exciting. Okay. I'll go over here. Looks like we got advanced fishing, carpentry for beginners. Expert fishing, that's cool. There's a bedroom, I thought this looks like a bedroom. Let's close curtains. Toothpaste, beach towel, painkillers. Okay, it looks like some interesting stuff in there. Looks like another bedroom here without windows. This might be a better one to sleep in, actually. Um, let's grab the sheet. Okay, let's try to close the door here. Okay, and let's see what's in here. Uh, one, two, three. Four and okay, okay, that works. And oh, look at all this food in here. Wow, okay, grab that. Huh, okay, I'm kind of digging this place. It's back the back door. Uh, can we get into this room here? Oh, it's unlocked. That's unusual. And this would be, it looks like we have a hammer in here. Sweet. And that's it. Okay. Well, I don't know about this place. So, looks like there's another house over here. We still, it's 1220. So, I'll tell you what. Maybe what we'll do is, we will use this place as, maybe we'll use this place as a kind of temporary hangout. A place to dump our loot. So let's just go into the kitchen here. Let us grab a bunch of stuff here. Um, 
I'll have to organize all this stuff. So basically, where do I want to put the food first? Let's just grab all this stuff like this. Do that. And then do this. Do that. Do this. Like that. We're not moving, so there should be no problem with this stuff. Okay, uh, move into here. Okay, so that's done, and let's grab all this stuff. Uh, yeah, we can use the mouse wheel. Let's do that. Move it into into here. Unpack it. Yeah, this a lot of this game uses inventory management. So basically, I can talk about here maybe what we're gonna do with this series. I'm basically going to play from morning till night, and you're going to watch me do everything. I'm going to try not to edit. I want to minimize the editing. So, yeah, we'll do that. And as far as that goes, right now we're unpacking everything into our main inventory here. And once that is done, I'm going to just move ever so slightly for the fridge. And this is where we're going to put our perishables, right? Which would be the bell pepper, the broccoli, the carrots, the chardonnay. We might as well keep that in the fridge. Uh, we've got we got the eggs here. Might as well put ice cream, doesn't matter. Uh, milk package, orange soda. I hear kind of rustling and stuff, so we'll have to deal with that maybe. Strawberries, whiskey bottle, maybe we'll put that in there as well. Let's put that all into here. Okay, so we got that happening. Okay. Oop, a wrong key. Now let's move up this way. So it's just kind of top corner. What can we put away in here? So let's put away spoons, the sugar tea bag. Let's put away um, the salt, the rolling pin, the plastic bag, the peanut butter, orange soda, milk package, mazel matches. Kitchen knife, might as well. Let's see, frying pans, the forks, the empty mugs. Well, maybe not, because we need to fill that with water if that fills up with water. So I'm just kind of double checking here for. Okay, good, good. Do, do, do. Dish towel. For sure, the cow or the butter knife. Okay, so let's put those into here. We can figure out what to do with the rest. Um, let's see here. Maybe we'll try and keep the food items separate. And maybe that's what we'll do. Okay. So then this one we can maybe have food on. So let's fill a water bottle, fill bowl, fill cooking pot. Okay, fill empty mug, fill bowl. So we want to make sure we have water, right? Okay, and so we can put all these bowls of water in here. What else can we put in there? <clears throat> milk package. Fresh milk package. So is that like a fridge item or? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Let's unequip those pants. Let's 
put the orange soda in there and let's put the milk package. I don't think it's. Yeah, it doesn't look like it goes away, so that's good. So, one, two, three. Let me put those in here. And a pot of water in there. Okay, and so this item maybe will have the all of the food items. Cereal chips, dry ramen noodles. Oh, thirst plus 40. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe we don't want to eat those. Peanut butter, salt, sugar. Let's move those into here. Because we definitely will need those. Okay. Where's the shirt? The vest. Here we go. We go. Maybe unequip as well. Okay. So that's that. And maybe all of this kind of stuff. Maybe carrot seeds. Maybe that stuff. And then. Okay. And then now, uh, now we'll put this other stuff. Let's see here, maybe over here, this looks like a bookshelf, right? Yeah, okay, so let's grab this book, let's take out these things, and carpentry for beginners, carpentry for beginners, okay. So that's garbage, basically. Let's put the magazine in there. Uh, let's see here, oh, the uh, mug of water. Maybe we should put that in the water here somewhere, where's the water? This is the water. Okay, perfect. And let's see here. Garbage bags, that will be. Is there something in here? No. What's that? Getting bored. So, seek entertainment. So, this is where we read that. Yay, now we're not bored. Now we're a bit peckish, right? Let's see here. So let's see here, what do we want to eat? Hunger, thirst, unhappiness, hey? Okay, well let us eat. Let's eat an apple. Okay, uh, slightly fed. Let's eat bell peppers. Some Publis broccoli. Eat a quarter. Eat all. Eat all of this one. Fed, okay. How about all the broccoli? Okay, and let's grab one. Let's eat a quarter. Eat another quarter. Right, let's just eat all of it. Eat all of it. Okay, there we go. Now we're well fed. Okay, and let's go check out outside here. Hello, zombie. Out a bit here. Okay, it's exciting. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see if this house has an alarm on it. I don't see any Zeds here. Cool. Let's check this out. No alarm. Okay, excellent. Let's get inside. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, don't want that. 
Okay. Take a look at the inventory. We need bath towels. Painkiller. Um, sleeping tablet. I don't know about the soap. Sheet we can put in there. Okay. We'll have to definitely deal with that. Uh oh. Alright, come on. Oh, this is a bad place. Huh. Closed curtains. Huh, huh. Okay, let's see what we can grab here. Let's grab painkillers. Not sure what that's for. Sheet. Uh, so painkillers in there. Sheet can go in there. Not sure what the bleach is for, so we'll leave it. I'm not sure what the cotton balls are for. Let's do that. Bath towel. We're, at, we're overweight already. Oh, we can throw this here. We can throw this book here. A sheet of paper we can get rid of. Okay. Anything on the Z? There's just a pen. Okay. There's a scream. Book magazines. We need those. We need newspapers. I didn't know that those are consumable, so that's something different. So this house is pretty plain, but we got the food here. But we're quite full already. Or are we quite full? Let's see here. Oh, uh, oh look at that wire. Uh, kettle. We want these guys. Uh, we are overweight. Come on. Bowls. Miss. Ah, uh, shit. I definitely want the food, though. That's for sure. Okay. Well, let's see how heavy we are. Fifteen to one. One. Well, you know what? We're just gonna. We're just gonna go for it. We're a little bit overweight, but that's okay. Okay. I don't see anybody here. Perfect, perfect. Oh, there's a zombie there. There's a couple zombies. Really? Do I have a door in the back here? Yes, I do. Okay, we got sheets up. Man, okay, so we're back. Let's go into our fridge here. Perfect. Whew, that was scary. So let's move this into here. Meat patty, I want to actually cook this, some of this stuff. So the chickens, let's cook the chickens. The butter we can put in there. Huh, fresh corn dog, that's cool. Let's eat all. Okay, let's put let's put the egg um yeah, let's unpack that. Let's put this in here. Unpack the chicken, the meat patty. Okay, and then in here now let's do some cooking let's let's experiment with the cook in here so if we throw this stuff in here turn on I guess that's what the thing looks like oh, there we go now it's cooking now it's cooking can we put the meat patty in there Okay, uh, what else do we have? I think that's all the meat items that we have. 
Oh, that's cooking. How about the eggs? See, look at that. Cooking takes quite a while, actually. That is interesting. Not sure why it takes so long. So, yeah, basically we can talk about more stuff here before sleepy time. And so I figure what I'll do with this game is, is I, I can't remember if I mentioned it, so I apologize if I did. and I'm, I'm repeating myself. But basically I'm going to play from morning till night. I'm going to play Project Zomboy while everyone else is playing Ark out there. Maybe I'll get that as well. I don't know. It all depends on whether Lush will echo or not. He wants me to play on that. Uh, it's a whole other story. But otherwise, I'll be playing Project Zomboy and the Sky Saga and Star Maid and whatever else. And Seven Days to Die. And I'll be uploading all that stuff. So the chicken we can take out there. Okay. So the eggs will not cook. And the meat patty, we're still kind of cooking. And yeah, I don't know. I figure this would be something different on the channel. I haven't had any Project Zomboid on here. This is a game I've been watching for the past few years here, watching it develop. And I'm kind of waiting for the NPCs to come out. So I'm kind of excited for that. And, and yeah, I don't know. We'll play this game. We'll kind of set up shop here for now temporarily. And hopefully this place will be fairly safe. Uh, I'm hoping it is. And uh, we're going to try and experiment and see how much further we can go with this game. We can see how long we can survive for it before we die. And yeah, I can go from there. So this is almost done, this meat patty. I guess I could always speed up the time if you're just standing around. But it goes by really fast and this stuff burns really easy if you watch. Watch. See, now it slowly gets burned, so we can turn that off. Excellent. So now we have all this wonderful, delicious food here. So let's put this stuff away. Meat patty, egg. Just double checking. Okay, put that in here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got lots of sheets, so let's see where we're going to put those. This is the master bedroom, right? Maybe this is where we can put all the extra supplies. Maybe. Let's see, what do we need to put in here? Let's put it here. Yeah, I don't know, hey? See those those zombies that we hear? We might have to clear those guys out before we sleep. So let's put the bath towel, bleach. Let's put all the sheets, the soap, toothpaste. Let's put that all away into here. Oh, look, this is where the painkillers are. So let's put those in in there as well. Painkillers, sleeping tablets. Put those in there. Put these bath towels in there. Okay. Uh, look, there's a dead mouse in there. <laughs> That's so funny. We'll just leave that in there. That doesn't bother us. And I don't think there's nothing. Okay, let's throw this stuff in here. Mirror, soap. Anything in here to throw in here? No, okay, perfect. Perfect, so these two are empty now. So we could probably use those for storage, those two things. So let's grab the sheets here, because we can put those in the other two here because we'll be using those more often. Uh, let's do that. Put those in here. Maybe we could put our hammer away in there. Or maybe or we have our storage shed for that too, right? So maybe we'll do that. Yeah, okay, maybe we'll do that. So the mag the magazine stuff will store out here. Magazine and newspaper, we could put that in here. 
carp treat for beginners we're going to read let's see here the kettle that stuff there and that there wire yeah we'll, we'll put that with the hardware stuff let's see yeah okay and so kettle uh, fill water bottle fill bowl let's fill all the stuff up here fill kettle okay and let's see here one of these should be the water yeah looks like this is it put that there put all these bowls of water in here because we need lots of water I'm thinking we need like two water balls on us instead of just one. No, no, that's fine. We'll be okay with that. Okay, let's go outside here. Oh. Where are ya, zombies? Okay, good. Let's go to the shed here. Close that door. Uh, inventory so I just need one hammer right so let's put the, the better hammer in here oh there's two containers here cool I didn't see that okay let's put the garbage bags in here let's put the trowel in here let's put the wire in here keep the hammer on us and the carpentry and I think we're pretty slept down for inventory wise so let's close our inventory let's, let's get out here it's gonna do a quick check back here wow that's so cool good because we'll need that uh, inventory Okay, so it looks like I'm actually going to go into this bedroom here. Turn the light on since there's no windows. We're going to kind of sit in here. We're going to read our book. Read. And basically what this does is, see as you can tell there's 220 pages, right? So what this will do is this will slowly increase and this will slowly give you basically a bonus into your skills oh but we can't move uh, let's go read and how do we get our skills okay that's reading so basically this is what it's about so so every time we cook that will increase cooking every time we do carpentry that will increase anytime we attack or anything and we also get skill points and that handles that it's kind of your body status right click for treatment I don't know what kind of treatment these are your perks so far we've lasted for 13 hours in game which is pretty cool and we're still reading the book uh, let's see here what's this stuff I'm not sure what that stuff is okay so yeah so as you can tell see you're re we're reading it and and yeah i don't know hopefully you've enjoyed this episode uh, i know i certainly have so thank you everybody for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next episode bye bye everyone